Hello YouTube, welcome to yet another beer review from the Master of Puppets. Now today's beer review is a sort of an ode to spring, because I'm wanting spring to arrive soon. Uh, we're soon in the middle of, of February, and there is no trace of spring here in Scandinavia. Still a lot of, of snow, and you sort of get sick of all the snow, and you just want some warmer weather. So this is going to be an ode to spring, and hoping that spring will arrive soon. I'm going to review the Cantillon 100% Creek Lambic. Uh, or Creek 100% Lambic. Uh, Cantillon is one of the, the most original uh, Lambic breweries in the world. Uh, they're out of Brussels in Belgium. And uh, they've been brewing beer since uh, 1900. Uh, and they only brew Lambics. They, well, L Lambic, the style of beer Lambic, is probably one of the oldest styles of beer in the whole world. Um, there is a ton of different versions. The original Lambic, with, just called a Lambic, is very acidic and sour. And a lot of even beer connoisseurs uh, doesn't like this beer. But then there is the Geese, which is a mix of old and new Lambic. And then there is Faro Lambic, which is sort of the same as the Geese, but there's added candied sugar. And then we've got the Fruit Lambics, like this. The Creek means uh, cherry, uh, and this is brewed with cherries. This is probably one of the best Lambics, the Creek Lambic. And I've been wanting to try this for a while. Uh, and should be quite good. Uh, very acidic, uh, very... Uh, a strong flavor of cherries and uh, should be quite sweet as well but should be quite good um, uh, also um, the special thing about lambic beers are that they are spontaneously fermented uh, they use spontaneous fermentation and what is spontaneous fermentation it is just that at the brewery, at the Cantillon Brewery, it's like a museum if you ever get uh, go there. I haven't been there, but I've seen the website and pictures online. It's almost like an old, old museum or something like that. But, um, what they do, what spontaneous fermentation is, it's wild yeast they use. They simply just, under the, the brewing process, when the yeet, yeet, yeast needs to be added to the wort, uh, they just open the, the windows at the brewery and just let wild uh, yeast flowing to the uh, brewing vessels and uh, that is quite interesting and yeah as I said one of the oldest breweries in the world but this one should be very good and it's 5% alcohol by volume so not a heavy beer Lambics usually aren't and uh, looking forward to, to try it I'm going to be using well on sorry I'm not I don't have a cold that was just some <laughs> it's not I'm sorry uh, I'm going to use this. Uh, it's actually a Pilsner glass, but I don't really have a flute that's not broken. I had some flute glasses, like champagne, champagne glasses I could have used, but this is a bit bigger as well. Uh, so that's what I'm going to use. Oh, what? <laughs> what the? There is a cork in here. <laughs> Didn't know that. Okay, check that out, guys. There's a cork in here as well. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, as you see here on the cap, oh, it smells really sour. There's a lot of dead yeast, and that's because of the spontaneous fermentation. That's just leftovers. But I uh, try and get this open fairly quickly, not like the last review of the uh, McKellar uh, It's Alive. That took some time. But this beer should be really, really good. And I'm looking forward to trying it. Uh, never had a beer with it cork and a cap that's a pretty cool cork. it's real cork it's not like the McKellar one where it's like a fake one wow that smells really really good <laughs> whoa really really acidic aroma there just out of the bottle I can smell it from over here uh, and it, oh, that's a pretty cool uh, cork it says Brussels all over it and yeah that's pretty cool Brussels Canton Brussels bottled it said it says okay let's just get this, this off and get the beer poured okay so both a cap and a cork quite strange let's pour the beer in the glass nice 
pink reddish color as you would have imagined since it's a cherry lambic serving temperatures they say around 12 to 14 degrees this is probably only 10 so I might have to warm it up a bit as well I love the bottle is green like a bottle of wine but really heavy really coloring. nice coloring actually I think deep reddish looks like like a maybe plum juice or something but now it's been a nice. while since I've had a a creek lambic so this is gonna be quite interesting one of the better creek, la creek lambics out there let's check the aroma very acidic aroma very acidic maybe some orange no not orange what's it called uh, grape grapefruit uh, and of course the cherries are definitely there uh, but r r aroma wise it's a lot like a wine but a wine that is uh, uh, like a, a dessert wine maybe uh, a, a wine that is more uh, what can you say um, more sour of course but a lot like wine there's I get some like wood like oak as well that must be because they're aged in oak vats or oak they're aged in oak yeah uh, that smells really nice very hazy pink color I just love that color even though it's quite terribly flavor Ooh, that smells really nice that is definitely acidic. Ooh. Wow, that that is pretty good. That is quite refreshing. Um, wow, it's like it really would wake you up, even though it's so low in alcohol. But very, very acidic. You can't taste hops at all. For example, if you're not a hop head, don't try lambics. Lambics are a thing to experiment about. It's not if you're not into different beers. Don't buy a lambic. Uh, especially from cancel on maybe but very acidic uh, very sour cherries um, and even though it's that sour it's quite dry sort of like a cider um, but still uh, not at all like a, a, a cider but it's very acidic very sour um, but very very smooth actually and also, sort of also I get vinegar but that's, that's, these cherries are quite nice in here um, but it is very interesting this beer um, if you are not if you are not into like Cantillon and fruity beers and you wouldn't like it, this uh, I've been drinking Lambics for quite a while and they are very different I knew that so I knew what to expect, but a lot of people don't wouldn't know to ex what to expect in a beer like this. Mm, that's good. Uh, so they wouldn't probably wouldn't like it because it's uh, so sour. Um, it's like you know, like that, those extremely sour candies you you bought as a kid that would just make your mouth turn inwards, right? Sort of like that, just in liquid form. And I think it's pretty darn good this year. Uh, probably one of the best Creek Lambics I've had. Uh, see, now if you would compare this to uh, Samuel Adams' Cranberry Lambic. <laughs> Samuel Adams' Cranberry Lambic should just go home. I had that not too long ago, and that was just very bad. I like a lot of Samuel Adams beer, no doubt about that. But um, that was not the best try. That and the coastal. I got the winter berry pack. That and the coastal wheat were really bad. But the holiday porter and old Fezziwick were great. But this, quite quite good. Uh, creek, uh, canted on the uh, creek lambic. Um, but very heavy carbonation and very sour and acidic. Also, overripe fruits in the back of your palate, and it's not yeasty at all. But It is such a different type of beer that it's hard to describe to people who have never had Alembic before. But it's almost like vinegar and very acidic. But you guys should check it out. If you are into Belgian beer, you should check it out. If you're not into Belgian beer, you might want to steer around this. Because it is very sour, very acidic, but I like it a lot. So rating wise, I'm actually going to rate this, uh, I think, a 93. Um, one of the, probably the best lambic I've had, or uh, well not lambic, but creek lambic I've had, uh, ten times better than the Lindemann's uh, creek lambic, which I had. Oh, but that's very good as well. But this one's better. Uh, mm -hmm. 
very sour, very acidic. Um, but still, it's quite refreshing. But it's like drinking wine, sort of, with a, a carbonation. Maybe a dessert wine. But you guys, check this out. If you can get it, it's very different. Uh, I'm not sure if you can get it, but there it is for you. The Cantillon 100% Creek Lambic. Check out my other reviews, guys. Uh, if you like my reviews, please subscribe. And uh, cheers, and I'll see you next time.